In travel photography, it's quite common to photograph a lot of buildings. You're visiting different places, and of course there are many interesting buildings along the way, and you'll tend to photograph them. The challenge with photographing buildings or other tall or just large subjects is oftentimes you're looking upward toward those subjects, and so you can get a little bit of a perspective problem. In this image, for example, you can see that the steeple on the right and the steeples over on the left both seem to lean inward into the photo. Let's take a look at how we can correct perspective in the develop module in Lightroom. I'm already in the develop module, so I'll scroll down on the right panel and we're going to take a look at the lens corrections section. First, we'll take a look at the profile option. Here, we can apply automatic adjustments to the image based on the specific lens that we used in order to capture the photograph. I'll turn on the Enable Profile Corrections checkbox, and you can see that Lightroom has determined the lens that was used automatically based on the image's metadata, and it has applied a correction to the photo. I'll toggle that checkbox off and on, and you can see that there has indeed been a change. But it's not quite enough. I need a bit more of a perspective correction, and so I'm going to switch to the Manual option, and then we'll take a look in particular at the Vertical Transformation option. Here we can lean the photo away from us or lean it toward us, and if we get just the right adjustment, we should be able to get a relatively straight result, where all of the steeples are perfectly vertical. In this case, I think I might need to also adjust the horizontal perspective, so I'll drag that slider right and then left, and we'll see if we can find a position that works a little bit better for this image. Right about there looks pretty good. I think I'll fine-tune that vertical perspective as well. I think that looks pretty accurate. I can also rotate the image if need be. I think in this case the image was pretty straight to begin with, so no adjustment is needed there. And I can also scale. You'll notice, for example, that the bottom right corner of the image has been squeezed in, and so we now have a gray area there rather than the actual image. I can zoom in in order to get rid of that area. Of course, this means that we're zooming the overall image equally. If I don't want to do that, I can use cropping for this last portion, this last bit of correction, in order to eliminate that gray area. I think in this case, the overall effect looks pretty good. I've got an image that's much more straight. I'll go ahead and switch to the crop view, and I'll drag the bottom right corner of the crop inward on the image, it looks like I might need to adjust the bottom corner as well. And generally what I'll do is first focus on getting rid of those gray areas and then taking an overall look at the image and decide if I might want to crop a little bit differently. So perhaps bring the crop in just a little bit more over on the right side, for example, and maybe even bring it down a little from the top and perhaps bring it up a little from the bottom as well. I think that looks to be a little bit better, so I'll go ahead and click the Done button. And now you can see that we have an image that has been corrected in terms of perspective, and the process was relatively easy, essentially just moving some sliders back and forth in order to apply a variety of transformations to the image. I'll switch to the before and after view so that we can get a better sense, and once again you see in the before version, the steeples on the left are leaning quite a bit to the right, and the steeple over on the right is leaning quite a bit over to the left, but in our after image, those steeples look to be very straight. So a much improved result for a situation that you're likely to come across quite frequently when photographing during travel.